Lesson 11.4, applying the Pythagorean theorem and its converse. <clears throat> Don't worry about the converse. We do worry about the Pythagorean theorem. So anybody know what a squared plus b squared equals c squared means? Well, this is, assuming we are in a right triangle, the Pythagorean theorem. one of the oldest and arguably the most famous theorem in all of math. What does it mean? Well, you got a right triangle. You have a leg, which we're going to call A. Another leg, which we're going to call B. How do we know their legs? Legs are next to the right angle. Now we have a hypotenuse. Which is across from the right angle. We call that C. And turns out if we take one of the legs, square it, take the other leg, square it, and compare them to the hypotenuse squared, we'll find out they're equal. So for example, the legs of a certain right triangle are 3 squared plus 4 squared, and the hypotenuse is 5. And they work. Now, you can see why we started working with radicals because if we solve this, let's do another one. So we had 2 and 4, and we don't know what C is. We would say 2 squared plus 4 squared equals C squared. 4 plus 16 equals c squared, 20 equals c squared. Take square root of both sides and get c equals square root of 20, which we cannot leave alone. That's the square root of 4 times square root of 5, which is 2 root 5. We only take the positive value. Don't say plus minus when we take the square root because we're talking about a distance, which is always positive. It's never negative 10 miles to your house. It's always 10 miles from here to your house and 10 miles from your house here, no matter where you are. The distance is always positive. But this is why we started working with radicals so we can take the square root and get an answer. Now, certain numbers work like we just showed, 3, 4, and 5. They work without a radical. They're called triples. My classroom has quite a few of them up against the wall. So you can look at those. Other triples are 5, 12, 13. You can test them. See if 5 squared plus 12 squared does equal 13 squared. 7, 24, 25, 8, 15, 17, and so on and so on. Uh, 9, 40, 41. There is an infinite number. They go on forever and ever. It helps to know some of these. You can save yourself a lot of time. But if you don't, it's really no big deal. Just do the math and see if it works. So let's practice a little bit. Always draw your triangle. No matter how poorly you draw. This is A. This is B, which we don't know. And this is C. Well, we know that B is going to be 4, but let's check it out. 3 squared plus B squared equals 5 squared. 9 plus B squared equals 25. B squared equals 16. Square root of both sides. 
we get b equals 4. How did I know it was 4? Well, 3, 4, 5 is a triple. So I knew it was going to work. Try again. A we don't know, B is 3, C is 7. A squared plus 3 squared equals 7 squared. A squared plus 9 equals 49. A squared equals 40. A equals square root of 40, which we know is the square root of 4 times square root of 10. A equals 2 root 10. My A's have gotten progressively worse as we will move down here. There it is. You can check it if you want, but I'm pretty sure it's going to work. Try these two on your own. See if you can get them to work. Pause the recording because I'm going to do them right now. Some of you probably got to the root 75 and didn't realize that you had to keep going to see if you could get reduce it. But yes, you do. Keep going to make sure you reduce it. Now, we get 1.6. That tells us that this is a triple. That it's, um, there's no radicals in the answer. But we've got decimals. Is that okay? Well, yeah, it's okay. It just means that we um, have divided by a number. In this case, this is the triple 8, 15, 17. And each one of those numbers has been divided by 5. So if you look at that, you'll see it works. It's nice if you can pick up on that beforehand, but it's really not essential as you just I just showed you. We can do it without it. So now what about m variables in the lengths? This always messes people up. Remember that's a whole quantity. So what? X squared plus x plus three squared equals fifteen squared. X squared plus x squared plus six x plus nine. Remember, you've got to take x plus 3 out here and multiply it by itself. And that gives you x squared plus 3x plus 3x plus 9, which is x squared plus 6x plus 9. That's where I got this right here. Equals 225. We have an x squared. I'm going to bring everything over because I'm willing to bet I'm going to have to do some factoring at some point. Looks like a nightmare to factor. So let's get rid of a 2 if we can. x plus, x minus. Looks like 12 and 9 will work. 
gives me x equals negative 12 and x equals 9. Negative 12 is meaningless because we can't have negative numbers on distances, so x equals 9. So this equals 9, this equals 12. 9 plus 3 is 12. Must be a triple. It is. It's a 3, 4, 5 triple. Each piece has been multiplied by 3. Not that it matters. You don't need to know that. Just kind of handy if you do. Another problem here. You might want to try this on your own. Pause the recording. See if you can do it. Always draw a picture. There we go. One leg is two inches longer than the other. Call the first leg X. Other one's X plus two. Hypotenuse is root 10. X squared plus X plus two squared equals root 10 squared. X squared plus X squared plus four X plus four. Remember you gotta foil that out, equals 10. Two X squared plus four X minus six equals zero. x plus 3x minus 1, x equals negative 3, which is meaningless, x equals 1. So, there's your answers. It's a 1, 3, root 10, which is not a triple. It's got a radical in it. So, now we look at the converse. Converse means opposite. If we had a right triangle, we could say a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Well, if a squared plus b squared equals c squared, do we have a right triangle? Let's find out. So, we need to play with this for a minute. 7 squared plus 11 squared does it equal 13 squared? 49 plus 121, does that equal 169? 170 does not equal 169, so not a right triangle. That's a triangle. How about the other one? Let's check it out. 15, 36, and 39. 15 squared plus 36 squared, does it equal 39 squared? 225 plus 1296, does it equal 1521? 1521 equals 1521, so it's a right triangle. This is a classic theorem, the Pythagorean theorem. Very integral to geometry, so make sure you get lots of practice at it. Save yourself some time next year. Good luck.